Welcome to Obscure Edition. In this review series I play some obscure and decent games that were handpicked from a larger pool of obscure and not that decent games. This time I've got you a free roguelite beat-em-up for Android and this is a great combo which turned out to be an alright game. The name of the game is One Life Extreme Warrior. Look at this clever logo. Any life, fun, yeah. This is a very rare title that has a bit more than 1000 of Play Store downloads and it is a very humble number. The game is basically about beating a dungeon full of enemies in one single run, room by room. That is nearly impossible to do on the first, second or fifth run. Players will die, and they will die a lot. Dying resets a particular run's progress, but a player is allowed to keep resources, all upgrades and new unlocks like weapons and armor that were gained in that run. And those resources can be used to make future runs a little bit easier than previous ones. The controls are pretty basic for this genre and you probably have already figured them by watching at the screen. The left stick makes a player running around and buttons on the right side are used to interact with the world, mainly to attack its manifestations in different ways. One Life's gameplay is centered around skill-based fighting along with some equipment management and linear dungeon crawling. Players have to adapt to the situation and change their playstyle accordingly to the best equipment available to them. Every run starts in the hub. It's a place to do different stuff and prepare for the upcoming run. While in the hub, a player can upgrade unlocked equipment and player's character with resources that were found in previous runs. Not all equipment that is upgraded in the hub is accessible right away. It has to be upgraded now to be found later in the run if a player is lucky enough. Also, while in the hub, players can choose from a small random pool of starting weapons, can change visuals and can get achievement rewards. A pool of weapons and an amount of offered equipment will increase as a player unlocks new items and upgrades the character. The monetization in One Life is pleasant enough for me and probably for you to enjoy. There are no four stats, but sometimes an ad can be watched to get some in-game rewards like resources, a continue after death or a right to enter treasure rooms, which can be found in the dungeon. The in-app method exists too. With real money, players can unlock exclusive equipment types and visuals. Or a player can just buy some basic resources too. A locked exclusive content may be unpleasant for some people, but that is totally acceptable, because developers need some money and support. So if you like this game, then go and visit some treasure rooms. One Life should be played if you like both beat'em ups and roguelites. It is a neat small game that has a friendly ad policy and offers a decent gameplay experience. That may be not the best game of its genre, but One Life is definitely a unique experience for you to try. And here comes the end. Thank you for watching this review. It's nice to have you around. I'm very excited to know what you think about One Life. So don't be shy and share your opinion in the comments. And if you want to see more stuff like this, then you can check out my channel for all the videos. New ones are coming soon too. Have a nice one life and stay amazing. See ya!